Hello and welcome back to Kitten Up Kitten and today you are joining me for my heaven and earth whip and ramble um, but before we do that I want to show you my other heaven and earth projects now well actually they're not heaven and earth projects they're actually cross stitch conversions I didn't get them from heaven and earth um, so these are the two I thought I'd give you a sneak peek so number one we have the Lord of the Rings. Now, I chose this one because it reminds me of... Um, it reminds me of... Uh, why can I not remember the name? Mandy Manzano. So, it is a stained glass. It's called Stained Glass Effect Lord of the Rings. I think this is just... The colours are beautiful. I love the effect. And it starts here and follows all the way down this is actually the hobbit it isn't lord of the rings but it you know i love it i think it's great so that's one of them that's a smaller project the big one is this one oh hang on let's go back <laughs> let me find the right thing no sam what are you doing okay so view mock up this is actually rivendell um, so those of you that have been here a while will know that I am a massive Lord of the Rings fan and you will also know that I previously did a Rivendell canvas. I wanted to redo that canvas in a much bigger size because the one I have isn't big enough and when I went looking on Etsy I actually found a package so there was the original print and then this one. This one is just stunning and I believe up here I think this is meant to be Arwen and Strider or Aragorn. But anyway, it's beautiful. It's massive. <laughs> so that's why that is my my pattern keeper stash. But let's go to mini secret door because this is what I'm going to be working on. As you can see, I have done this little bit here. <laughs> so I've got that much done, which is around 2.39%. So let's get into this. Let me, so I'm just going to get it big enough so that I've got my, my six sections. I think two by six is a good section size to have. So I just need to get this placed so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Here is the section I'm going to be working on. So I'm going to make sure my tray's clean. I'm just going to get a craft knife and I am literally going to just run this along that line there so that I can pull that back, that bit back. There we go. Hopefully it's ripped, maybe not. May have to press a little bit harder on the tape. Come on, that's it. As long as it rips carefully, I just find this easier than using cover paper on this particular project. So I just need to find a cover minder. So I'm going to use my um, alcohol ink cover minder today just to be different. And I've just realised I've taped the top of my canvas to my mat already. But I neglected to put my cover minder on first. So now I've got to pull the tape up. So the reason I've done this is because um, I'm having to put it down quite low so that I can film. Um, and the weight of the canvas pulls it off. So I've just used some cheap um, washi tape. It is very cheap washi tape. It's more like a masking tape, to be honest. Um, I do have a pair of tweezers handy just in case for issues with my pen or if I put a drill in the wrong place. I am actually going to use that to pull this piece of washi tape off because I don't need this now. Now, I had done this out already with washi tape. Um, it's just a ball ache, so I'm going to do it as I'm going makes it easier so I have my tray and I have my pen now my pen has just been loaded literally I've just done it before I've come on so it will need priming it's going to be very very sticky 
and I'm going to work a little di bit differently today. So um, you will have seen, if you've seen in my previous couple of videos, um, I had a visit from Penny at Calb Sparkles today, and we were just we discuss everything diamond painting and personal, but mainly diamond painting. Um, and she was just saying how she um, decided because she had a section that had colours in the same sort of range that she was just going to work that way um so i've decided what i'm going to do today is i'm going to pick the symbol that i can see the most of so for me the biggest clump for me where i've got the widest spread is actually the star so i'm going to select the star because if i get those on i can then use those as my map to put the others now this one's also quite heavy so let's just have a look now you see so 310 you've got quite a lot of but the stars are spread out more evenly so i'm going to go for the stars so it's actually 938 now i can do that with this canvas because i have only got 85 colors so i can see the whole of one case whereas when i did when i attempted my last one um, I wasn't able to and I'm just going to make a start now as you know um, I don't colour match so I do have different colours in here so um, I'm not too fussed um, but I'm just going to make a start so if I get my first lot of colours in if my pen will release which it might not do because, like I said, it's got brand new tape on it. I'm just going to cut a little bit more off there. I've got a little bit of overhang that I don't need. Now, I don't want to cut too much off because, as you know, just as with glue dots, it does sort of push into the bottom of the pen once you get going. But I'm going to try and be as neat as possible. Okay, so that's the first two done. So I'm going to change the pen. I'm going to highlight those two in purple. And then we're going to miss four and do three. Two, three, four. Now, as you know, I don't go through comments, etc. When I'm working on my heaven and earth. And that is because I'm using my tablet to, um, to work from. Because it's got my pattern keeper on it. And I'm using my um, phone to record with. I could fetch my laptop, but my laptop is very old. Um, it doesn't work very well. Uh, it's quite slow. And I can't be bothered. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I haven't used it for so long. I do everything on my tablet or my phone. Um, so um, I'm not going to bother. Um, but there are some things I want to talk about. So if you are here and you've never seen me do this before... This is my Heaven and Earth project. Um, it is called Mini Secret Door. I will put a picture up now. Come off. I don't want that one. Thank you. Um, it's called Mini Secret Door. And um, it is wherever it is 57 by 81.75 no it's not that's wrong it is 57 by 83.75 centimeters so a good size but not overwhelming so that one goes there it is square obviously and i'm working it on a blank canvas that i got from aliexpress i've just done that wrong i need another one under there so, yeah, I do apologise if my pen sticks a lot, but that's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's them too. I'm going to get that one at the top there while I'm at it. Um, I'm not massively bothered about colour matching at this point. This section is, is pretty confetti, so um, I'm not too fussed. Right, so let's do this one. So we've got three. One, two, Three. So the process is we're using a cross stitch app to convert a cross stitch pattern to a diamond painting. You don't have to go to heaven and earth for it, but it works very well with heaven and earth. I will say the other two that I bought 
um, I actually got from Etsy and both of those work with Pattern Keeper as well. But I won't be doing any of those until I've got this one done. And as you know, if you are back or you are someone who's done Heaven and Earth or are doing a Heaven and Earth, this can be, unless you work on it all the time, this can be a long term project because I'm doing it in between my other my other whips so it's not going to be done anytime soon it's going to be a while but it's worth it i think it's a beautiful picture stunning picture um heaven and earth also do um canvases under the name crown jewel canvases you can give them an image that they already have and you can have it printed onto a canvas for you. Um, you can have it printed in black and white. So it's in essence a mystery picture and you can watch the colour build or you can have it printed as a normal diamond painting have it printed in colour what diamond and what heaven and earth don't do is they don't do drills you would need to source your drills elsewhere but that is why a lot of diamond painters have taken to doing a heaven and earth project because they save their drills for that reason it's the only reason i started saving my squares Um, so I think that's it for heaven and earth. I'm having real issues with this pen, but I'll get there. It's fine. I just thought if I get a large amount of colour in first, it's going to make it easier for me to find my next colours. So that's done. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to change my settings to use translucent colours so that I can see the symbol through the colour. So that's square one. Just going to give these a bit of a tap, and we're going to go into this one. So it's miss two and one. So for me, I like to highlight them as I tick them off. So we're missing two, so it's two over, three down, two over, one, two, three down. Um, oh, look, I am getting notifications while I'm at it. Is that right? Yeah. Um, so now I have got what heaven and earth is out of the way. Um, on my last, oh, for God's sake, I hate it when you take snoo. The problem is, or, or the, the good side is, depends which way you look at it. Um, once you get your your double-sided tape to the perfect stickiness it lasts for absolutely ages it's just getting it there so let's get those in um i like to highlight mine in in the purple and then i don't do it as done until i've done the whole section because that way if i make a mistake i can go back i can correct it and you can frog back on this app um, but I find that confusing, so I just prefer not to mark it off until I'm actually happy that everything is where it's meant to be. Um, it is quite nice that some of these drills now are Diamond Art Club drills. Um, they are perfect. So Miss Two and then Three. They are perfect for Heaven and Earth designs because they're such good drills. I have a tiny bit of gap in, not that one, thank you. Um, and that's purely because I'm using drills from different companies. Thank you to Sharon for sending me some of the drills that I needed. Um, it's very, very much appreciated. So top one, like so. And then we've got yeah, that's that one. And then we've got one there. So the only downside to doing a heaven and earth as a, as a whip and ramble is like, obviously, I forget what I'm saying because I get distracted because I'm working. It is slightly harder to do a video for. But I know that there's some of you out there that really enjoy it. So I'm sure you will forgive me. 
Okay, is that right? Yep, yeah, so that's them three. And then we've got three in this corner. So one there, one there. So um, I did have what I wanted to talk about. Um, I was asked by a subscriber who said, please, 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 can you do a heaven and earth event? Um, so I did say that I would consider it. I just need to have a look. So what I've decided to do is, yes, I will do a heaven and earth event. Um, I am planning to do this heaven and earth event in November for a number of reasons. So October, you have a lot of people that do Halloween or autumn inspired events. So I don't want to clash with those, you know, I don't, you know, and I think it's too much. You know, if I said to somebody, if I said to a group of people, do you know what? I'm going to do this. And at the same time that's going on, they're also trying to do, um, you know, drills and chills or something. I think it's just too much. And especially because heaven and earth projects tend to be a little bit bigger. So I will do an event in November I will give you details of that later on once I've nailed down what I'm going to do what I will say is it will not be a video a day because I just cannot commit to that but I'm hoping to do a weekly you know just check in once a week but maybe do a longer video and what I plan to do then is to answer questions, comments, etc. on heaven and earth only on each whip and ramble. So I'll do a whip and ramble as normal. Now I am hoping, because one of my subscribers alerted me to this, I am hoping that I can do a live on this event, which is why I'm saying I'll give you details later. Because I thought you had to have a thousand subscribers to go live. But apparently that is no longer the case. Now you can go live before then. You can live stream. And I would really like to spend some time with you guys wherever you are. So I need to hammer out the details. I need to make sure that I have got the time, the space, etc. to do it properly and to have my laptop ready so that I can work on this um, so I know what I'm doing, that I can work alongside you and so that I can see your comments and answer your questions. So it's very not settled yet, but that is my plan. Now I did say I hadn't considered doing events because I can't work to a schedule. It's almost impossible with my working, with the nail business and all that type of thing. It, it, it's pretty difficult. And the couple of times that I have tried to get involved in an event, I've not been able to, to put my all into it just because I've got so much going on. Right, let me just place this one. One, two, three, four. So that one goes there. Um... And there's other reasons as well. So, you know, um, December um, for Advent ones. Um, I really struggle with December because me as a nail tech, it is the busiest time for me. And of course, this year I have reopened again. So I will have the added problem that not only will I be working my ass off um, at my normal job, but I'm also going to be working extra with nails as well so I can't commit to doing anything in December on top of that having Christmas shopping to do as well so that's why I've decided to go for November I feel like November is a little bit event bare <laughs> for us guys in the in this in the UK especially but um, I would love it if you are doing a heaven and earth that you will join me I will give more details. So I am planning, like I said, 
on doing a whip and ramble at least once a week there may be more if i get a chance so i'm not saying there will only be i'm saying there may be there'll be a minimum of one a week if i can do more i will however one of those will be live how does that sound think it's a good idea please let me know hello um because i would really like to use that live live feature um i am waiting to see if it's given me access to live stream um i did click on there and it did say that i needed to wait right let me just count this fall down one two three four and it's there um it did say i had to wait 24 hours so um, that time's not up yet. So I will probably test that out properly tomorrow. So if you don't know where I am, today is Monday. Um, I worked the weekend. So I've had today off. I've had a visit from the lovely Penny. We've had a good old chin wag. Um, so I'm able to film today. I will also be able to film somewhat tomorrow as well. Um, but I really do just want to get some diamond painting in. But it was important that I try to get a video upon this. I'm not saying I'm going to get this whole section done in this whip and ramble. It depends how, how long it takes me. Um, so let's go across two and then it's down three. One, two, three. And then we've got two there. Oh, and then she misses it. Two, three. Doesn't release. Come on. Stop being a... I bloody love double-sided tape, but it's a ball ache when it's when it's brand new. It's worth it for how long it lasts, I promise. There we go, that's them two. Um, yeah, I really wanted to do another whip and ramble on this. Because I don't get to do this as often, and I do enjoy it. It is fun. Do like me a challenge. In personal stuff. The summer house has now been painted. My husband still needs to trim up the roofing material. We are having um, we are having insulation delivered on Wednesday. Once he has got that, he can get the floor and the walls insulated. And then hopefully the doors on. I'm guessing that's the plan. And that's why he hasn't done the doors already. I think it'll be easier for him to lay the floor in without having the main doors on. That's why he's probably waited to do it. Um, so once that is done, I can then get in there because he's going to put another layer of wood on the walls. Once he's done that, I can then get in there to paint it. Um, I am going with a fresh cream, I think. Not a dead white, an off-white, I think will be the best, the best option. And then I can, uh, I can start getting pictures and stuff up. And of course, I've got, although saying that, I've got one canvas that isn't done yet. I've got a canvas that I bought, especially to go in the, to go in the cabin. And it just hasn't come up in the voting yet, so <laughs> it may be, may be a while before that one's done. But, you know, we'll get there. Um, and then, of course, I have got some shopping to do because I need to buy some bits and pieces for the cabin. Um, and in doing so, I can then move the nail table in. Which can then mean I can open up getting my craft room started oh it really does not want to release come on stop messing me about i'm half tempted to get an older pen now just because it's doing me a in it's taking twice as long um work is as always bloody work um but the nail business is rebuilding slowly. I've got a couple of new clients. I've got another new client this week, which is good. 
um, because between the nails and my other job it gives me a, a pretty decent income um, which all goes towards helping to fund my diamond painting addiction of course but super super excited about the canvases I'm waiting for from Dainty Diamond Art I'm very excited about those they should be here tomorrow Come on, stop messing me about. Have you ever been tempted to try tweezers? Because I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I really don't. So that's all of the 938. <laughs> Excuse me. So with the 938 in, it then gives me a map, which I can then use those drills to place the others, which is fabulous. So let's do that and put that back. I shall be back in a second. Okay, so let's go for the next colour. I'm going to go for... No, I'm not because I haven't highlighted it. Let's do that one. Let's go for the swirls, which is 838. Pepper, stop. So still having a lot of those browns going on. But to be fair, that's the majority of the top of this painting. So we've got three of the four here. So they should be quite quick. So I'm going to multi-place. No, that's wrong. I need to, because I've already placed one. There we go, so that's them done. Oh, didn't change it to the pen. So let's highlight those three and then we've got one next to that, which is there. One under here, which is there. And then two here. So yeah, I'd be definitely be interested in doing a Heaven and Earth event. I think that for me, that would be more interesting for me to do because it will give me a good, oh my God, this tape. That would give me a good run on my Heaven and Earth project. So I would get the most benefit from that. This does not want to release. I'm wondering if I've got another pen that isn't quite as sticky. But the problem then is that I then need a... It's that one, isn't it? I would then need a... Um, four placer. And I don't know if I've got one. So let's do that. Um... Obviously quite a big couple of weeks um, after the death of Queen Elizabeth, but I feel like we're starting to now settle down into this new reality of ours because it is a big change. Um, husband is working until six, so he won't be home till seven. So that's why I decided to do the Heaven and Earth today. And then I have got tomorrow and Wednesday afternoon and evening to then film some of the other stuff that I want to do. Um, I should still have unboxings and that going on too so um, and they're quite quick to be fair. I mean I did a, a kind of kitten down today I didn't put drills away or anything because I wasn't keeping them, but um, I did get that done today. So that one goes in there. Oh, and I highlighted the one next to it, so let's might as well do that one. Let's tick that and let's highlight that one. So we've got four in a row. Oh, for God's sake. 
the thing is, right, so it, it it's doing my heading because it's new tape. But the thing is, if I pick up another pen and it's not sticky enough, that will annoy me just as much. So I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> it's like, what's going to be worse? I don't know. So let's see if I can get three. Let's get three. And they go right across there. Nudge that into place. That was nice and easy. And I do want to multi-place because it does speed it up if I multi-place. Um, one there. I do also still have my little... Um, I did start a little canvas that I was doing my how-to series on. Um, I've still got that to finish as well. So, I may this evening... I've been watching Vikings just recently. I may take that upstairs with me this evening and do some of that just to try and get that on its way finished. But I did make some headway on I Miss You at the weekend, which is great because I do want to be able to bring you new canvases. The voting is going well. And of course... We will at the um, Friday, so Saturday I will be doing um, a set of nails and after I've done the set of nails I will then be doing the giveaway, <coughs> which I'm looking forward to. I am hoping that whoever wins that, that first prize really enjoys what I've put in there, I really do. Um, there are, of course, three prizes. So three chances for you to win. So thank you to everybody who has taken part in that. Um, you know, I do want to try and give back to the channel, to my subscribers, because you're worth it. You know, it does me the world of good to have you there you know, watching the videos, helping the channel to grow, which is all I need it to do, really. Um, right, hold on a minute. Where have I gone? So that's there. So that will be under those. So that's those three. So let's get the next three. And they can go in, oh, there we go, rocked it, but knocked that one out. Oh, for God's sake, I'm not doing very well, am I, today? I find that I struggle more on the days where I really want to diamond paint than I do on the days where I don't. You know, because sometimes I do want to take time more than others and I just find that those ones that I really really want to do I struggle more than the ones that I do not so often but nearly there with this colour okay so let's get two in here so we've got one in there and one in that bit so that's that and then we've got one do you see what I mean about getting that darker colour in and using that as your map for the rest of the drills? It does make it easier. Now, of course, I'm doing a lot of browns here. So if you had different colours, it would be even easier. OK, so we've got one there and then we've got two coming off it. One, two. So that's those two. But it does speed it up. And, of course, I get quicker if I'm not talking. <laughs> but that defeats the object of doing a whip and ramble. I wish I had more time. I would get so much more of this done. I'm very jealous of Penny. She's got so much done on hers. One, two, three. Very jealous. But it is what it is. We all have different lives, don't we? We all have different different responsibilities. 
it would be very, very boring, wouldn't it? You know, some of us are fitting it in around other things. I mean, I don't get as much time to do my resin as I want to. I'd love to have a huge range on Etsy, but um, it is very much a as and when type thing. Okay, that's that colour done. So let's put that back. Okay, where am I going to go next? I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get these three tens in because um, I've got quite a lot of those. So let's search that one and get the three tens. I mean, at least having everything in this one case, it makes it a lot, lot easier to find what I'm looking for. And we've got huge sections of 310 here. Of course, I'm fine for 310 because I got absolutely thousands <laughs> of penny. So I have more than enough to finish the job. I've got a lovely random round green drill in there as well. Now you can tell these are a mix of um, companies because they're not lining up brilliantly. But as long as they do what I need them to do. So we need three in there. One, two, three. That drill has just jumped out from somewhere, but I don't know where, so I'm going to put it down there in case I need it. Oh, not that one. Thank you. And then we've got one, two, three. So that's those three. And then we've got all the way up to the end. So I might as well do... Four, eight, that went on nice and straight, bottom lot not so much, so that's all of those, and then we want five, so we'll do four at once, yep, yeah, I'm not as good doing them from this side as I am pushing from that, that side if you know what I mean, so let's get that one in. Give them a squeeze along to make sure they're firmly in there. Oh, not that one. And then I just want two at the bottom of that. Lovely. And that's that bit done. So, yeah. Um, all is going well. Um, I'm still having problems sleeping at the minute. Um, I really, half of the problem is because I take amitriptyline to help me sleep. And what happened was when I had my, when I started on nights, I was getting enough tablets to give me for 100 milligrams a night, which is for 25 milligram tablets. And when I moved on to night shift, I asked my then doctor to cut my prescription down because I was ending up with loads of tablets. I was I had a backlog of tablets for ages. And then I moved house and obviously COVID was going on. So it was almost impossible to, um, to get a doctor's appointment or anything. And I then changed doctors. And then when I did try, when I stopped working nights, I did then try and get my prescription changed back again. The problem is they won't allow me to do it over the phone. We're not allowed. You're not allowed to ring up and ask for um, prescription changes over the phone. Um, but if you try and do it online, they then say you've got to make an appointment. Well, of course, they're not giving out any bloody appointments. So um, I'm only taking half doses at the minute um and that's why i'm not sleeping properly but it's becoming a problem now because i am literally waking up i'm getting up every two hours so um i crave i would absolutely love a whole night's sleep just six hours all in one go i would be over the moon with that because i've been in insomniac for so long you kind of get used to it, but it's not good. It's not good to feel tired all the time. 
And like now, because I get up so early for my job, um, I can't sleep in either. You know, once upon a time, if I had a really bad night, I'd just sleep in till 10, 11 o'clock on a weekend or something or a day off. I can't do that now because my body just doesn't let me. I just wake up. So it's kind of frustrating at the minute. Um, but the amount of time it takes just to get hold of the doctor, not working. So let me just go check to see what came through my door. Hello and welcome back. So what for you was a few seconds break for me was actually overnight um i ended up having to do some other stuff which i hadn't planned on so i'm going to get my 310 back up because that's where we were so let's continue um i have got a bit of a croaky voice I have a cold so today i do not have my granddaughter she is she's not even two yet and i don't want to give her a cold so um i thought i would carry on i knew i was probably getting a cold yesterday because um i felt a bit iffy but you know it's a cold it's that time of year um so today i am oh i forgot to put me let's get that back up I forgot to turn it onto the pen so that's that square done um i have noticed that this video is already 40 minutes long it does take a bit longer with heaven and earth but you know it is what it is i do enjoy doing it and it's such an achievement to do you know it's not the easiest thing in the world to do um you know you it, it does take a little bit more concentration oh look how beautifully they went in let's get those off because i didn't let's take those off because i haven't done them yet i've done those two um so the next one is six now i only have a four placer um on this one I don't tend to go bigger than a four placer with squares. I may do at some point, but at the minute, four works perfectly fine. So yeah, bit of a head cold, little bit of a headache, a um, little bit of bone ache, you know, that, that chill in the bones that you get when you've got a cold. So I'm not gonna die, you know. <laughs> I'll be at work tomorrow. I've got a half shift to do tomorrow. Um, but I don't want to be given my, my, you know, my granddaughter a cold that she's then going to take home to her mum and dad. So um, I've arranged instead to go over and see them at the weekend when I am off work. Because hopefully I'll be feeling better by then. Um, so instead today, um, I'm going to get this filmed. Um, I should also have um, an unboxing, at least one unboxing, if not two to do today. Well, that's nice and easy because the next row is all 310. So four, eight, and then two. I cannot reiterate enough how much easier doing this heaven and earth is on a blank, on a poured glue canvas. It's just so much easier. It's just nicer to work with. Um, I wouldn't normally work with the clear cover like this, but in this instant, it actually works very well. Um, I could take the plastic off and put um, cover papers on. You know, there's no reason I can't. Um, the problem is, I've just highlighted that and I didn't need that one. It was that one. Um, the problem is, is because I keep it rolled when I'm not working on it, um, doing that with cover paper on is gonna make it more difficult. So it's just easier to work with a clear cover. Um, I'm using washi tape that's wide enough that I'm not looking into the next into the next bit but because um right so where are we right so I've done that one 
hold on I'm here which is there so I want to there I lost me I lost myself then I lost where I was <laughs> getting ahead of myself um yeah I can at least get some of this done and then what I can do is I can leave this out today and work on it in between helping my husband put the doors on the on the cabin um the cabin is going very very well um it is gonna look amazing cannot wait to start working in there um and although i've got you know three shifts to do this week only one is a 12 hour shift and i do have the weekend off i think i have a set of nails to do one there if my pen will let go I have left this pen overnight so I'm hoping that it's gonna oh I didn't do that very well <laughs> and I picked up one that I didn't need um, let's straighten that up I think the thing with a heaven and earth I think for me it's got to be something that you're going to display. You need to have a good reason for doing it. Because otherwise, it's just too... Um, it just becomes too overwhelming. Because, you know, it's, it's a lot to do. But just the fact that you are creating your own... I mean, your, your own canvas you know there may be there may be someone out there that's done this as a diamond painting but there's every chance they haven't there may be someone that's done it as a as a cross stitch which kudos to them it's a lot of stitching but not many so that's what i like about it it is a completely original piece of artwork and that's what you are creating it is artwork and you're doing it in probably the hardest way um, but I would definitely suggest try some of the mini paintings first right did I get that down yes I did miss one do two which is above that brown so I'm using the previous colors to double check where I am going I'm using them as my guide so we've got those two and then we've got one of those, miss one and we've got one there. And that will help you then figure out where your next ones need to go. Makes it a little bit easier. Like so. That one goes on the end. Doesn't want to stick there. Doesn't help because I've got my plastic in the way a little bit. I have a feeling though that if I do an event on this in November it is going to be they're going to be longer videos to be honest but hopefully you have your own heaven and earth project and between us we can uh, we can make a dint in them you know that would be pretty good I mean obviously if I can get a couple of videos a week on I absolutely will but I do want to do at least one live um, which I could test out today really might do that tonight I might do a little live see how it goes I know there may not be many people watching because I've given no notice but you never know you never know so that's that color done so let's get the 310 put away I think I'm next gonna go for this arrow so let's move that highlight the arrow because there's plenty of those what are they three three seven one um so that's in the next case but it's nice and easy because i can get to them quite easily a lot of these three three seven one are diamond art club as well i have still got my cover minder so this is what you use what what cover minders are designed for they're designed to hold this plastic back which is very useful. I will cut it off when I've finished. All right, let me just prime that a little bit. 
so that's them two and then we've got one which is there oh I'm missing one aren't I hold a minute where am I that one there I'm missing one here I'm missing a 310 so I may just go back in and just grab that quickly otherwise it's going to throw everything out so obviously didn't do that very well come on pen stop messing me about let's try dabbing it on my jumper I have actually got a jumper on today because I do feel pretty cold um, that one there that one there so let me just grab this 310 quickly and this is what I love this is what I love about screw pots you can just pick out one you can just dip, dip in the pot and pick that one out so we've got two there oh I know what I've done that's why that needs to be pushed up one just got it in the wrong place ah there we go so didn't need that after all so that's better okay and then we've got two four and three so these all fit in this space here you get why though it's quite difficult to do a heaven and earth and answer questions at the same time um, but I will give it a go let's let's sort that out I will sort out when I can do it and how I'm going to do it and the time zones etc because I have a feeling especially if I go live I need to make sure that you guys can all join me so two four and then we've got three which is there and then we've got one which is there and then we've got two underneath which is there so this section is very heavy on these browns but that's fine that's that one done into the next one so we need four and they go straight across there come on release picked one back up again Okay, and then we've got two under there. And then we've got one in there. Yeah. And then we've got one above there. Really has been a pain this sticky so we've done those that and that okay so let's find our next three so that's two and two so that's in here one two and three the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, the time, the time that YouTube creators put into their videos, it's not as easy as you think. So when I was talking to Penny yesterday, my problem is I don't always get time to just sit and diamond paint. Um, so a lot of times um, the only time I get to diamond paint is actually when I'm doing the videos. So you've got to be set up for the videos in the first place. Um, you've got to make sure you, your lighting's okay. You've got to make sure you're in shot. Um, you've got to make sure that you have content to put up. So you're always planning ahead. You may get a brand new canvas and you may want to kit it up immediately, but you can't because you either haven't got storage available or you haven't got the time to film it, to put it in. 
you know, a lot goes into creating these YouTube, these YouTube um, videos. I've lost where I am now. Right, so it's definitely there. So it's them three. So it's that two and it's that one. Like so. That's that one done. So don't underestimate the amount of um, effort that we put into these videos. It does take a lot of planning. And the last thing you want to do is not have enough content, you know, because then you're going to lose subscribers. Right, I've gone wrong somewhere, haven't I? Because that should be a two. Right, that should be in there. That's why. Oh, it's so easy to go wrong. So that one should go there and that will then close that off oh. um, it is definitely something that you have to enjoy doing and that um, sometimes I've just pulled those two out sometimes you kind of do reach a point where you're struggling because you know you've just got burnout um, and that was me yesterday I really wanted to get this video done um, but I was so tired and because I didn't feel very well um, I ended up last night doing my bit and my husband got home from work early because he was working overtime and um, I just kind of I was just too tired so hence why I ended up leaving it until today. I mean, today I don't feel well, um, but I just thought if I can get a bit more done on this, at least I've got the content done then. Because um, I don't like to leave you guys without content for too long. You know, I want to keep people engaged on my, on my channel. You know, I want you guys to look forward to what's on the channel but at the same time I've also got to make time for me this is the only day I've got off and then I am back to work again so I want to make the most of that now I have been quite good this morning um, and while I was drinking my cup of coffee this morning um, I actually did do a couple of sections on um, my uh, what's it called um, I've lost where I am again. I did a couple of sections on my dream catcher canvas because I need to finish that. I started doing it as part of my how to series, so it just needs finishing. So um, I did that while I drank my coffee this morning. So I kind of feel like I've achieved something today already, which is good. So I'm blatantly not going to get this section finished unless I do like a, a two and a half hour long video, um, which I'm not going to do. So I'm not going to do too much more. I just wanted to get a bit more on. And I wanted to show how I work in my mind when I'm doing it. You know, it, it can vary day to day. Some days I will just do and I'll work in order of the colours coming, coming down because it's easy. Other days, like yesterday, use my jumper. Other days, like yesterday, um, I just want to go with whichever colour I've got the most of first. And it's fine. You can do it however you want. I mean, if you're doing a max colour, then um, you've got 239 you know, or thereabouts, you've got at least 200 colours to go through. So it may not work well by picking whatever you see the most of. You know, you've got to, you've got to change it depending on what you're working on. And that's the beauty of diamond painting. There are many, many ways that you can work on your particular painting. I'm going to highlight those because I hadn't done the previous square i'm going to give these a bit of a shake again um i did switch to my little pink zesty tray just because i don't need a big tray i'm not going to be lining up loads and loads i'm not doing masses of color blocking um so i just need a few drills at a time so uh, the mini tray 
is perfectly adequate for that. So that's them two done. We've then got a six next to it. And that's going to fill that section, which means I've missed one at the bottom. No, I haven't. Come on, stop being so sticky. Try and dab it onto my onto my mat. Okay. I am looking forward to um, to moving into my craft room and having a brand new setup. Um, I must admit. That will be exciting. I'm going to be able to use my dresser as full storage, which means that I don't have to get rid of it because they do cost a lot of money. Um, and it is a beautiful piece of furniture. So I'm just going to modify. I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to cut bits of wood out of it or anything. Um, but I am going to use it to its best ability to uh, house all of my stuff and make it easier for me to store canvases and you know kits I've already kitted up I'm sure my husband will be very grateful for that it does need uh, mean I need to rehouse his models however but you know he's got the front room for that so that'll be fine so I am going to finish off this color and I'm going to leave it there because I don't want this video to be stupidly long. I think it's more than long enough already. So we've got one there. And then we've got three. And they go down. There. And then we've got two at the top, which is above. Okay, I've done that wrong. No, it's definitely there, so I've got one missing somewhere. Better. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there, I think. Um, I'm going to finish the section off in my own time because um, I do have other things to do today. But if I get this done, then I can get the editing done and I can get some of these videos that I did yesterday up, which is always a good thing. I'm thinking that like Penny, it might be worthwhile me doing a smaller section because I think I can't, it depends on how confetti it is, but I can't always get the six by two done in one whip and chat. So, um, and I certainly don't like leaving sections undone, but we'll see, I'll, I'll try it next time. How many more have I got left? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So actually, yeah. It would be better to do it in two by three. But anyway, um, let's tick that to say that I've done that bit. I'm gonna leave it there for today. Thank you for joining me for this um, Heaven and Earth Whip and Chat. I do hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that whatever you are working on, please let me know in the comments if you're doing a Heaven and Earth project or if you're setting up for one or even if it's not something you're ever going to do. You know, I am interested. Um, but if you are doing one, what are you working on? Please let me know. Thank you for joining me today. It is, as always, over and out from this kitten up kitten. Bye-bye.